go then for our first game in this second series of the day. It is the quarterfinals of the upper bracket. And please do enjoy this one. It's going to be mega. See what happened in the EG series more than anything is you kind of saw the weakness in C-Deck is that they were a little bit too afraid to go for anything. But Bone 7 is going to try to snipe the courier. It's not in range, though. Oh, these are the next level strats that oh we expect my. from Cloud9. Oh, uh, it's he's gonna got get it. it. One more shot, Dance and down cool. it goes. Boat 7, suicide into the Omni Thal, and he'll spend his gold. You, knowing Cloud9, we expect something different from this team. You go back to the International Four. This is the team that ran the Pylai Die roaming bounty hunter with the, the Meepo. Multiple kills, but the ward has disappeared in this bottom lane. Gyrocopter is now level six. Cloud9 really have to be careful here. Calldown can come aggressive. Looks like he wants to go for this one. There's the calldown. Should connect on Misery. Can he get the self deny? No, no chance. Tries for the brain set. But first blood will go to C deck. In the end, this is just standard C deck Dota. Shiki even rotating in, though. This up. Continue to go for the stacks. Look for the pickoffs if they can. Oh, they want mid. They want mid. They see Bone 7. The stun's going to come through. They follow it up with the Laguna Blade. He barely gets up. And the hook is going to prevent a counter initiation for Misery. And now Q joins the fray. Shiki kept alive for now. Not quite low enough. Misery self sleep. Is it going to be sufficient? Here's the call down. The backstab from Aggressive. Rushing in on Defada. Choose through him with the Rocket Barrage. And now looks for Turtle Envy. He's up to 100 solid damage. Damage, but he can't deal with the magic punishment of aggressive. The man from behind finds a couple, make it five to one. Acedek continue to press in, but a well placed sprout by Bone Seven, who's not all that tanky yet. He doesn't actually have the mech complete. He's got a lot of armor. Oh, but that may not help him. If this hook connects, and it will. It's a bullseye. A turtle enemy trapped within the comments. No relocate available yet, and they blast him away. Cheeky strikes again, and they look for more. Misery trapped in the woods, trying to retreat out. Call downs at the ready, but Cloud Nine. A bit too close to that tier two tower. So C deck, D deck's turn to smoke. Cloud Nines was a bit of a fail. Xe looking for the initiation here. Big Daddy off in the trees. Rocket's gonna come through. They get eyes on him and they hook him in immediately. Better result and there's the track. That's a four hero track takedown. And now the corner on two. What a winter's curse from Q. Demolishes two more. C deck rampaging through the Cloud Nine side of the map. And there's no split push. There's a nature's profit in this game. There is an IO. And they are fighting 5v5 and getting crushed. They're just so under-leveled right now. If you so how do you... What's your play beyond that? You mentioned they don't really have initiation. Do you want to see, like, a Blink Dagger on Dragonite? We've seen this from Empire's Guard. We'll get caught off in the Radiant Woods and finished off. But I mean, what's the solution to that particular problem? Start looking towards that objective if they can find a good fight. I think it was... Oh, they're relocating. Oh. Here they go. Onto the bottom lane. Aggressive trash down to start the fight. Now the static lead coming through. But he runs, and now he's going to turn with the call down again. The Wizard's Curse. And they're running into it with the turtle envy. He does have the mech. He retreats out for now. Aggressive hiding in the trees as the hook comes through. XC tries to hold Thada in place. They do have the track on him. But he's a rather tanky fellow, and I don't think they quite have the firepower to bring him down. Instead, they look for misery. Already they used the brain sap. Laguna to end him, getting a little bit outflanked here. C deck. Again, the ones finding the kills. And they're going to. Bail out on either team uh, a late game edge in that department. I think C deck, once they get items like the, uh, the Aghanim Scepter and the level 60, no one at top, Misery's gonna get initiated on his. Bone 7 comes in, but Misery is a long way from the rest of his team, but everybody's rotating over now. Here they go, aggressive, trying to finish off Misery. They don't get the track kill. He's healed up by the Mech of Eternal Envy, and now the chase is on. Look for the oh, Winter's the Curse, though. The Relocate's gonna bring them even farther forward. The Winter's Curse goes onto Eternal Envy, who tanks Laguna. He's already used the Mech. He gets splatted onto the ground, blown up by the forces of C-Deck. They even managed to keep aggressive alive, and now they look for more. The Yule Scepter thrown out as Big Daddy will relocate back to where he once came from, and they're waiting for him. They're just laying into C9 and collecting kill after kill after kill there just doesn't seem to be a silver lining this game they've gone what three levels between the two of them and Dialogue they just don't feel down. safe they, they just don't feel like they can get active oh, on the map run in a fight they are going to make the move now there's a fight breaking out of the radiant jungle where aggressive gets fiend script but the hook's going to cancel well played by xc as aggressive marches back but he's trapped inside of this crowd this will be a gigantic kill and they're sapping all the damage eternal envy looking for vengeance here will he be able to finish him off aggressive does fall it's three wiped out for c deck all of a sudden gigantic fight going their way garter wanted to catch the big daddy io overwhelming advantage but you can't press into that especially against a team
team like C9. It just feels like they have some sort of magic. Oh, Shiki wants Big Daddy. He's got vision right now from the rocket. No, he's going into the pit, trying to fight this one out. But the A just will go onto Eternal Envy as they look for an organized retreat. Shiki still nuking them on the way out. XC able to snipe Big Daddy there. The hook shot wasn't even required. Laguna onto Misery, also on the run. The hook actually goes to the north. Rafana gets trapped. Three hero track takedown. Immediately, Bone Seven hits top. He wants to split push this and slow it down, and they're not done just yet. Misery still being pursued. Shiki gets slept. And it seems Misery may live to fight another day. They do hang on to that Aegis for Eternal Envy, but it's going to cost them a tower. C deck getting some track gold right away, even after the Roche. I think this is the timing. You've got to be careful. Oh, this you might not be the timing. They're going to find that Aegis Prophet here. Big Daddy has the defensive relocate. Will it even come out of time? Not even going to try for it. Just the quick TP away, but no! Big Daddy is denied by XZ. And Sheiky cleans him up, and now Eternal Envy oh, could be no next. He may die twice here. He's stealing all of Garter's damage. He's taking himself out. They have no buybacks in either global hero. He's now diving towards the enemy well. Just stalling this and running from a pack of angry wolves, but they'll kill him off once. They've got the track potentially ready to come out again. Garner sets up. They've got Cobbs in position. Eternal Envy, no static link. It's going to be the death of him once more. He just caved in. C deck not even giving up a single objective to that Aegis. And off, but that's his 10 second BKB charge immediately used oh, up. Oh, that top bone seven's getting initiated on. Beautiful pick. Q with the solo kill, it looks like. Just did it all by his lonesome, even though Rocket from XZ wasn't required. One item that's going to change their fortune anymore. It's just not really C9 Dota to play that way. Like, if you told me LG, oh, here's the hook on again and again. It's been XZ finding out Big Daddy. He can't even try for the tether away. It'll get instantly interrupted. And now Shiki with the monster kill picking off the bane of misery. As C deck are the ones to group. They're the team that wants to fight 5v5 before, where they're down a lot early and even towards the mid game. This team does know how to rat, and they may get something for free Dyer's here. The Courier coming. gets sniped, and that's the Guardian Greaves down. Pretty big item to pick up. Will be delayed here for three minutes. Both 7 TP's out, but no! XZ again with the hooks, just butchering Bone 7. He's caught on the periphery of the cooldown, and again he falls. He does get the Courier, and he is slowing down the game, and it's really what they need to do, but man, it still costs them. Eternal Envy moves up. He's tracked up right now. They have a Winter's Curse available. He's hunting forward. They've relocated Fada in. They get eyes on the Garner with the dust going through. He makes himself. He tries to run a bit further, but he can't make it out. Eternal Envy getting something out of this. The relocate now done. And Envy on the run. He doesn't have a TP. Oh, Envy, you need your TP quickly, my friend. He's going to go for it. Do they have a way to cancel this? No hook shot available. The Yules. Oh, they got him with the stun. No TP. No way out. Down again. Not the first time that's happened to Cloud9, but man, it really hurts. I mean, they decided to go for all. They have one smoke on them available. Uh oh, Phone 7 in the top lane. He's been caught out by aggressive. Cloud9's gonna come through. The Sprout, not gonna be good enough. He's dead to the Rocket Barrage. Punishing every Cloud9 movement. They might even go for Eternal Envy top. Uh, Doctor finds one there. We saw the Winter Wyvern get one by himself. Onto They're going in. Off. They're going in once more. Here's the trap. The follow up stuck up their misery. No chance for a brain set. They didn't even need the Laguna. Brutal. C9 is just being gutted. And right now, C deck recognize that and are just applying the pressure left and right. And C9 heroes are just getting picked off solo pretty much. It's. Having watched quite a few of this team's games, it feels like if they get their normal dress, it's really tough to split push against them. Probably the biggest game that comes to mind is the aggressive Slordar game, where Vici tried to rat it out with the Tidy Wisp, and it was just punished at every turn. But now we go again for Scenic, over and over, diving in, the BKB deployed, and aggressive raiding Supreme with Shiki, just doing all the damage in the world. He's still got a Laguna Blade. He can basically pop Bone 7 instantly, but he's holding the ultimate, looking for Misery. Pow, right in the Kissa, and then the Bloodstone denied. As the Laguna goes out, even that one kill denied to Cloud9. They are being given nothing here for free. Q may get caught. No, doesn't seem like it's the case. Spect it's a turtle enemy in danger. There's no relocate. The Wisp is dead. He's trapped. He's down. Bottom neck. C deck just rampaging forward. And it's GG. A team that didn't even have a guaranteed slot at the main event has just taken the first match here off of Cloud9. Wild card team, no longer. This team has a shot at going deep if they can keep it up. That was just clinical. C deck didn't really make any huge mistakes. That one time in the jungle, maybe that was a little bit of a mess up, but they just allowed C9 to wear themselves out. C9 tried to abandon.